First data on prevalence of dialysis in Zimbabwe. Background. There is currently no data available in Zimbabwe on the prevalence and incidence of patients receiving renal replacement therapy. The absence of such data makes advocacy for and planning of dialysis services extremely difficult and greatly impedes the development of dialysis services and improvement of patient outcomes. This study sought to define the prevalence of dialysis, both hemo- and peritoneal dialysis, across Zimbabwe. The demographics of this dialysis population, including the diagnosed causes of end-stage kidney disease, and to build an infrastructure to report upon incidents and outcomes of Zimbabwean dialysis patients. We designed and implemented an observational cohort study that commenced data collection on 1 February 2018. Key elements of the project design included inclusion of all dialysis facilities within Zimbabwe, both public and private, as well as patients on home-based renal replacement therapy. Central nurse coordination of data collection with at least monthly visits to all participating sites. The receipt of dialysis of any form was ascertained in 367 patients in February 2018. Using an estimated Zimbabwean population of 16.9 million in 2018, this equates to a dialysis prevalence of 21.7 per million population. Very few patients, less than 4%, are treated with peritoneal dialysis. The mean and median ages of dialysis patients in Zimbabwe are lower than that seen in more economically advanced countries, as is the underlying burden of comorbidities. The vast majority of patients with end-stage kidney disease is attributable to high blood pressure and diabetes. The prevalence of HIV nephropathy is likely underrepresented um, in terms of the patients seen. Majority of patients on hemodialysis are dialyzing through dialysis catheters, most of these 96% being tunneled catheters. The prevalence of dialysis is low in Zimbabwe, but is consistent with economically similar countries globally. Hemodialysis is the predominant form of renal replacement therapy, with most patients using hemodialysis catheters for vascular access. Understanding the incidence of dialysis and the outcomes for patients is an essential next step.